TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman uh, doing the 1 p.m. Tiger Financial News Network update. Dow's down 16 at 29,806. Really struggling to get back into the 30,000 level. It needs to clear that 30,200, kind of close in the 30,250s to say, hey, I, I'm here. I'm not just visiting. I, I'm here for a reason. I'm coming back often instead of just this little brief uh, interlude. And uh, certainly has to hold 20, uh, 28,000. 800 in the next few weeks. That's going to be really a thousand points lower. That's a problem if it goes below that. So in the meantime, the Dow is up. Uh, uh, no, it's still down. It's down 17. S&P is uh, trading at, if I can just find it right here, the S&P is trading at, um, it's up 25 cents at 36.62. Uh, it made a new high yesterday. The high was 36 right there, 36.78.65. Um, good action, very good action, but not really sharply high above, above all the, you see it's like a rectangle formation, it's just broken above that. You want to see that in the 3683 uh, or higher area to say, hey, I'm here for a little bit longer, otherwise it's going to be a brief visit. The, the QQQ, the NDX 100, trading down 16 cents at 303.30, also made an all-time high yesterday. That's not, The weekly chart is a little bit better, but it still needs to... Um, closed decisively above the high that was made back in September of uh, two, uh, 303.50. It's at 303.27. You want to see it in the 309 area, certainly by Friday or by early next week. What we're looking at here is the IWM, which had been a lag, then it was a leader. It's kind of slowing down a little bit, but it's near all-time highs at 182.04. You want to see 80, 186s very soon rather than breaking under 178. Now, gold is very interesting. Why? Is this really a, a serious turn to the upside? Is it just another one of those big flurries to the upside and then it makes lower lows? Well, we'll know by next week. if it, Within the three sessions, if it's able to trade above 18, close above 1858, 1863, that'll be a good sign. But if it stalls here and then does a retest of the 1815s, that's just going to say it's just a bounce. And what's really interesting is that the dollar, uh, the dollar is really struggling at a low. This is a yearly low, at least from the 103 high that was made in January, trading at 91. That's a real problem. And the TLT bonds, are bonds going to go low as the yields go higher? That's an issue I'll talk about in my show coming up tomorrow. But in the meantime, stay tuned. Steve Rose and Dave Wright and Tom O'Brien, Basil Chapman, Host of Tiger Conditions Hour and the opening full date newsletter signing off. Have a great day.